Well, if, you, if you've ever studied like when people drown, how long can you go without oxygen, enough oxygen, before the, the brain is damaged? That's kind of debatable. They say from a, a minute to five or ten, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's person specific. So there's no difference between um, drowning, you know, you're going without oxygen or being smothered, you're still going without oxygen. Or having a condition like pneumonia where you're not getting enough oxygen in your lungs, you're still, I mean, there's different ways to, to, to make it so you're not, you don't have oxygen. You can have an obstruction, you're choking. You could be smothered. You can drown. People in a fire, whoa, they breathe in smoke and there's no oxygen because the fire's consumed it. Most people in fires die from smoke inhalation and, and, and anoxia than, than the actual temperature. Hey, somebody could, could have sleep apnea. Do you know what that is? It's where they, they, they don't breathe regular. And over a, a long period of time, I think it can affect their psyche. It can affect your psyche if, you don't, if over a long period of time you've got sleep apnea. I know of a person who, who has got some serious issues. And I, you know, I, I can't help but think maybe it was that. Drugs? What if, what if you're taking drugs? How is that going to affect you? How much oxygen you get to your brain? Could kill your brain cells too. So anoxia is a wide gamut of situations and conditions that, that can take your oxygen away. Like all the things that I just previously mentioned.